This video is brought to you by LearnCodeOnline.in. Visit our website or download our apps. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and in this video we are talking about certifications, dumps and one incident that happened today. This incident is completely full of humiliation for a person and I really don't want you to face the exact same situation if you are trying to do any certification or anything like that. Again, I'm nobody to answer the question that whether I should be going for this certificate or not. It's totally your decision, it's totally your money, but I think this video is going to help you that how you should be pursuing a certificate, what should be your vision behind doing any certification. Again, I'm covering all of the certificates here, whether that's a Java certificate, CCNA, uh, some certified ethical hacker certificate, OSCP, uh, maybe Red Hat, or whatever the certification you have heard. I am going to share an incident that happened today which is completely humiliated for a person and I'm, I'm going to tell you that why actually thing happened. So before you go for any certification or even think about it, just watch this video and you will be the judge. I know, I know oh, oh. that I just met you, but you love. Due to this platform, my YouTube channel, I get interacted by a variety of companies, co-founders, founders, they like to interact with me, they like to talk with me and of course I do have a variety of uh, previous friends as well, they are working in a big company. Uh, one of my such friend have left the company quite a day ago, quite a days ago and he got funding as well. Now his hiring was completely done a week ago and we regularly ch chat on WhatsApp and stuff like that. So today I again had a Skype call with him and I want to share this exact incident with you. He is the reason why I'm making this video. He wants his message to be conveyed through my platform. Again, he said, don't mention my name or company. I don't want any kind of PR with that. So the incident goes like this. He, a week ago, he just finished up his entire hiring process and everything. Everybody was looking amazing. He hired the entire staff. But one of the people of that entire staff uh, was really looking really so amazing on the interview as well in the certificates and all these uh, resume on paper he was looking rock solid in the interview he performed really well but you know what from the last seven days the entire staff was completely like shocked with that one one person and he was having the certificates in networking he was having certificate in Linux and he was having certificate in Java as well and couple of other good certification as well he was looking really a top-notch guy here kind of an investment of like almost one lakh rupees in just those certificates so obviously once a person is having that kind of credibility and certificates he looks really good the moment he sat on to in front of a computer, he was absolutely dumb. Nothing at all. He was having no idea from where to write the code or where to write the code, how to start the things or how to end the things. Absolutely no idea. At first, all the people at the company thought that this is a new guy having no experience. So there might be some learning curve. He might be a little bit uh, scared of the things or hesitant with the things. So they everybody cooperated with him. Now, again, uh, a little while after that, people realized that even after giving him the exact instruction what to do, he was not able to perform the task. And then again, interview went for him. Now, this is a rare, rare situation. Once you get hired, uh, interview doesn't really happen again. But after one week, the founder of the company again went, asked him that, hey, come on to my room and I want to take your interview again. And he just opened up his resume and he checked out. And this time he noticed that he did all of these certification in a span of just three months. And he asked some of the questions which were in detail, in depth. And obviously the person couldn't able to answer any one of them. Then he forced the person that if you're not going to tell me truth that how you did all these certifications, I might put an FIR against you. Obviously he couldn't do that. Uh, why would he like to do that and take an extra pain just for a one person? He just tried to just get out of the things from him. Now, one thing on a side note, I would like to mention here that the interview that you are giving to the person, he he is taking the interview there. He has been spent, he might have spent time like for 10 years or five years, what you, what you are in front of him. You might have spent time on a code like one year or two year. Those person who are sitting at the desk taking interviews or have been the founders and co-founders of the company, they have spent like 10 years or 15 years uh, just behind the code screen. So just be extra careful what, what you are telling them. You cannot fool them. That's, that's the interesting stuff. So again, he asked him that how you cleared all these certificates and how you got that. Because if a person is having that much expensive certificate, 
he is expected to perform at least on to a 10% scale, not 100%, but at least 10%. And he said, you know, uh, there is this certificate company. He also named me the company that there is a company near my resident and he just gives you certificate uh, for this amount of charge. They give you certificate dumps. Uh, in case you don't know what the dumps are, dumps are like there will be 20 questions in your exam. Here are the 20 questions. Just memorize them and answer them. Or there are something like there will be 20 questions in the exam. Here are the 30 questions. Just just memorize them and just just throw them there. And this happens for unfortunately this happens with all of the exams. Uh, whether that's a Java exam, that's a networking exam, whether that's a PHP exam or whatever the exams you are talking about, even for Linux certification as well. Now let me tell you also frankly the truth about it. Most of the companies are aware about the situation that yes, there are dumps available. So if you are expecting that just with the certificate you are going to get a job, might be, you might be getting a job but obviously after that there comes a huge humiliation that you don't know the subject, you have the certificate, you got the job and now you are not performing, you are not able to do any task. This is a serious humiliation situation. What I want to tell you with this incident is that yes, I'm not scaring you out that don't go for a certificate or anything. It's totally your choice. Go for any certificate, whatever you like, whether that's programming or anything, just go for that. But again, if you're going for a certificate, go honestly with it. These certificates are done in a bad manner and in a good manner as well. Make sure you always choose the hard way, you choose the good manner. Yes, surely there are chances that you might get failed in the certificate, you might lose 20,000 or 25,000 amount that you have paid for this certificate. But yes, of course, this is a truth that you have to face. You can get failed. If you are going to choose the easy way, uh, that's not how these certificates were meant. Obviously, some people are cheating them and you will find a lot of institute. If you are surprised with that, go out and look for the centers in Delhi, uh, in Bangalore, in Rajasthan, in Uttar Pradesh, in Madhya Pradesh, in Maharashtra, every city, every city. It's not an exception like it's happening only there. Uh, it's, it's all over the India and even in the global scale as well. There are dumps available. Uh, you can pass the certificate quite easily, nicely without even knowing anything about it. But obviously it's not a good way. So what I want to say, my message or my summary with this is, if you're gonna cheat in those certificate exam, you might just save a 20 or 25,000 rupees and you might get a certificate. But if you don't have exact knowledge about what needs to be performed or what needs to be there, you will face a lot of humiliation in life. And obviously you might crack up some of the interviews as well. You might join as well, but after that what comes is a severe severe humiliation in the company and of course since you are presenting wrong data if the company is big and want to take some actions against you they surely can so make sure before you put any kind of such big name certificate in your resume take good knowledge nobody expects you 100 percent in the industry on the day one obviously nobody can or nobody should be expecting but at least if you have those big name certificates you should be able to perform at least 20% or 30% of that. It's not like you should be zero by zero there, okay? So again, uh, it's totally on you. Certificates are costly, I do agree. But my advice is go the hard way with these certificates. Don't just take the dumps. If somebody or some institutes is giving you just the dumps to pass those exams, say no, okay? Uh, it will be really beneficial for you. But again, you will be the judge of deciding what you should do in those situations, totally. It's your money and you'll be the judge for that. So that's it. I wanted to share this incident. I think it's going to be helpful for all of you. Go hard way. Learn the things first and then if you have money, invest in certificates. But again, uh, don't cheat. That's it for this video. In case you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. There's a subscribe button as well. And never ever hesitate to reach me out on my Facebook. I am super active there, reply to almost all messages and just read out all of your comments as well. Let me know in the comment section below that what is your thoughts about certificate and are you aware about this dump situation going on all over the globe? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll surely, surely catch you up in the next video. What I would like to do, but you just keep on talking. I see your dog needs walking. Your folk drive you insane